Hey, what's up? I'm Inezalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and in Sunday's tutorial I talked about how to create a cinemagraph. If you haven't seen that tutorial, definitely go and check it out because cinemagraphs are so amazing. They can really improve your portfolio and your photo and video style. You can really experiment and do some really cool stuff, especially on social media. It's something unique. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. And then if you want to bring that to the next level, because there we saw on how to create a cinemagraph, just filming something and then turning that into a cinemagraph. If you want to take that a step further to the next level, what you can do is add some visual effects to your cinemagraphs using Adobe After Effects, in my case, and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Because let's face it, the more time and effort you put into something, the epicer it becomes. Of course, in some cases, keep it simple, keep it clean. I definitely agree, but visual effects in the cinemagraph? It blows my mind. For example, a little while ago, I went to this convention called Facts here in Belgium, Ghent, and it's where all these people come together dressed in their favorite movie character, game character, whatever. Some people's costumes are so stunning, so amazing, and I actually was there for a different kind of purpose. I was there to meet up with Quebel Cop, which is a YouTuber. He uh, gave some amazing tips for YouTubing and stuff like that. Really, really awesome day. But while I was there, I saw all these people in these amazing amazing costumes and I decided to take a few pictures of people walking around there and adding visual effects afterwards in Adobe After Effects and that's what we're going to be seeing today on how to create the cinemagraph lightsaber effect in Adobe After Effects. So the first thing that I have done is take a picture of this guy which was rocking an awesome costume from Star Wars and yeah I brought this into Lightroom, edited the photo a little bit if you want to check out tutorials on Lightroom um, definitely go and check them out I'll put a link in the description. I just did some minor color correction to that photo then I brought that photo in Adobe Photoshop and here I just cut out the photo using the pen tool uh, really really simple he didn't have any hair so it was really simple to cut out you can also do this in After Effects using the pen tool or the roto brush tool it's all up to you once I've done that I exported my photo as a PNG and imported that in Adobe After Effects here in After Effects I made a little background as you can see right here let's take a look what I've done here to create my background is actually used a few of my existing tutorials. Uh, for example, you see a few of these atmospheric particles, which was a tutorial that I created lately. And then I added some smoke in the wishes from an upcoming smoke pack that we're creating right now. And then the background with a little bit of gradient. So you can see it right here. Uh, let's take a look at it. So we have our background, which is a simple gradient. The particles from that tutorial, I will put a card on this video so you can go and check it out. And then this smoke smoke uh, video layer uh, with a lower uh, well a low opacity right here and if we are going to look at it um, yeah this is what I have here so a little bit of smoke uh, which is from that smoke pack that I talked about so I'm going to undo that for now um, this is going to be the background that I will be using you can do whatever um, that's not what this tutorial is about and then what I've done is brought that photo into Adobe After Effects so that's all it's not animated at all uh, you can see really really nice costume it's amazing really uh, I'm going to create a new layer a new solid layer and this is going to be my lightsaber effect and what I've done here to create my lightsaber is actually used a plugin which is completely free by the way before you start panicking um, it's from video copilot it's called saber and it's an amazing plugin right here uh, you can use this and as you can see it already looks very stunning you can do a lot of things with this plugin and I just think like yeah, it's stupid to create something from scratch if you have everything right here, what you need, so amazing. Okay, so what I've done is I selected a preset right here. I selected the fire preset, which looks like this. Um, pretty cool. Then I changed the color to a reddish kind of color uh, right here. And there we go. And then what you can do is go into the flicker, increase the intensity to something like 35, then go to the distortion and open the glow distortion. 
and here I increase the wind speed to something like three the noise speed also something like three and then I went to the core distortion and I did the same thing for uh, the speed here for the noise and for the wind uh, maybe you can increase it a little bit more but let's check it out I'm going to solo this layer so you can go and watch that individually it's going to render a little bit quicker okay that looks pretty cool what I'll do on top of that is go to the render settings and increase the motion blur a little bit all right so that looks pretty cool I will unsolo this and go to the screen mode right here if you don't see that go and toggle these switches right here and I'll change this to a screen. Here I will take um, the positioning tool, so I will click on my saber and I will click on this little yeah button here, this point, and I'll drag this one here and this one over here. Maybe change the screen resolution to third for now, so we can render a little bit quicker and work a little bit smoother. And then I will go over here and change the core size to something like 35. Okay, there we go, we have a nice saber effect, let's preview. It looks very cool, you can play around with all these settings here, you have a ton of things to experiment with, so I'm not going to dive too much into detail. Maybe you want to lower the speed just a little bit, so point 1.5 uh, for example for the glow distortion and same for uh, the wind speed here. So maybe we want to make like a slow motion uh, effect that's also possible. Everything is possible, guys. The motion blur, I will change this to 0.7 here in the uh, core distortion. And there we go. So um, this is our lightsaber. I would definitely encourage you to go and really dive into all these effects and settings to create a stunning looking lightsaber. That's not what this tutorial is about. It's just to show you the possibilities here. So I'm going to click on my Star Wars scene here on my Star Wars image. I'm going to edit, duplicate that layer and I'm going to set the mode to additive. That's going to increase the intensity right here and I will press T on the keyboard and lower the opacity to zero. So now it's actually affecting nothing. Then I'm going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the opacity and write wiggle comma, open parentheses, 15 comma, 35. Close parentheses and let's take a look. And now you have some flickering on your actor. So of course you can change the values maybe a little bit more to 25. And then I will go to the wiggle preset, hold control and press C on the keyboard to copy this. We're going to right click new and we're going to create an adjustment layer. This is going to be the lightning effect. And we're going to go to effect, color correction, exposure. And here I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch for the exposure and I'm going to paste my wiggle preset. Instead of 35, I'm just going to change this to one and let's take a look. So now the background is also lighting up, uh, which is really cool. Then next, what you can do is go and create a new solid layer and rename this particles. And of course you can add the CC particle world effect, which is free and is, is coming with After Effects. I prefer to use Trapcode Particular. This is a paid plugin, but you can do some really cool things with this and you're not obligated to use this. I'm just showing you what I've done. I tried to add a little bit of movement here around the lightsaber because currently we have the lightsaber doing stuff, but I want some particles coming from this lightsaber. So what I've done is I went to emitter. I changed this to a box and then I just increased the Y size here and I repositioned my particles right here in the center. Also made this a little bit wider and I changed this to a disc. Okay, so I'm going to solo my particles for now. I'll go into the particles tab and I will change my size random to 100 and change my particle size to 3.5. Then I will go to the size over life and I will click over here, uh, which will decrease the size over life as you can see. Same for the opacity. So go to opacity over life and decrease the value here. Go for the set color and change this to an over life color and change the color over life right here in this tab to something like this. But instead of white, let's take a nice um, pinkish color and then in the center, we'll create a new color and maybe something like red. Okay, and there we go. So now we have some red particles and some brighter particles uh, looking like this. For the opacity random, also let's change this to 100. And there we go. So now we have some variation and that's really important if you wanna make something look, um, yeah, realistic 
adding a lot of variation randomness is going to make it look like it's something real. Let's go to the physics tab, open up the air tab and we'll increase the gravity uh, while well, we will decrease the gravity uh, so it's actually going upwards like minus 80 and in the turbulence field we're going to increase our effect position something like 250. For the complexity we can keep it at 3, the scale let's change this to 4 and the evolution speed to 25 and let's take a look we have solo this layer so we can individually check it out and yeah this looks amazing okay so I'm going to drag this over and now we have our visual effects that I wanted to apply to my um, cinema graph of course you can also do some uh, screen um, some screen shake effect uh, you can do that using a new adjustment layer and shake and just apply a wiggle preset we can use the wiggle preset from my website so just drag it on here and change it to something like um, 115 and now you have a very simple wiggle to your image but it's going to make it look a little bit better as well okay so now what we want to do and this is actually the most important step of the cinema graph is we want everything to loop and of course, if we're going to come to the end of this uh, video, it's not going to look very smooth. So let's preview it entirely and, that, and let's take a look on how it actually loops for now. Okay, so you actually see a stutter here at the end. And what we want to do is actually go to the beginning of our screen shake, go to the transform and click on the position stopwatch right here at the beginning. Let's take a look on how it's actually positioned. Now we're going to come to the end and try to actually imitate the same position here. So we're going to move it a little bit more to the right and a little bit more up. And there you go. So the position is going to be looped right now. And now the most important thing is actually looping the particles and the saber effect. So what I do is actually I go to the beginning and go to edit and split my layer. I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to duplicate this layer effect and go all the way till the end. So the last frame is actually the first frame right here. Now I make this a little bit longer and go over here, press T on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch for the opacity and actually drag this keyframe all the way till the end. So the end frame is actually 100% and the beginning frame is zero. So now it's going from zero to 100. And then for this one, we're going to press T on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch as well and start with 100, but end with zero. So there we go. And now it's actually going to fade into each other and it's going to start over exactly like it should start right here so our particles are going to have a consistent loop so you didn't notice any loop in here and that's what we want right here so we can do the same thing for the saber effect take the saber let's solo this and if we're going to look at it individually you're going to see a loop like right here is a loop and Again, it happens. So what we want to do is do the same thing. Duplicate it, control D on the keyboard, go over here, drag it over all the way till the end, make it longer. Press T on the keyboard for both of these layers and create a new stopwatch. And then we start with 100 and we end with 100 right here. Then for this one, we change it to zero and at the end right here, also zero. And there we go, we're, ha we're going to have a consistent loop. And of course we see a little bit of a uh, fade that is going a little bit wrong so we're going to so we're going to drag this over right here so it's actually fading a little bit better and there you go you see no loop anymore so that's how I actually did it to loop my uh, effects here and now you can have a consistent gif that you can export as a cinema graph so all you can do now is just go ahead and export this video as a video imported in Photoshop and export it as a GIF using the tutorial I made on last Sunday. So go and check that out on how to finish this off. And yeah, that's how to create loops in Adobe After Effects. It's really simple to create and then you can finish it off using the last Sunday tutorial on how to render this and then just go into Photoshop and just export this as a GIF. Uh, so yeah, really simple. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel and also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer and if you buy something from our website, it helps to support this channel. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye. <laughs>